What do you do if Lovable deletes your Lovable project? I had someone reach out to me that accidentally, because of some sort of issue happening with Lovable, his entire project was deleted. And now he has to restart from scratch. There is a simple setting that you can enable in Lovable that will make sure that you own your project, you have a backup of it, and you can host yourself. So should Lovable go down, you accidentally delete your project, or I don't know, something happens with their server and it's gone, you do not lose the work that you have put into and all the credits that were spent building it. So let me show you how you can connect your project with GitHub so it's always safe and secure and it can never be lost. Let's take a look at this. So I'm right now inside of my Lovable project and we want to self-host this and connect it with GitHub so we own the code and we get better terms with hosting. And it's actually super simple. Lovable has a native GitHub integration. So here are th two things that you need for the setup. You need to have a GitHub account and you need to have a Netlify account. That's everything you need. Now inside of Lovable, next to the publish button, we have this little cat. Click on the cat and then go on connect GitHub. Perfect. Now you can connect with a project here. So connect with a project, then it may ask you first to connect with an account. I already have an account, but let's go on manage organizations here and let's add a new organization. Perfect. So now I'm just going to select a different account here. So let's select my other GitHub account and then I'm going to install and authorize this green button here. And now I need to uh, use GitHub Mobile on my phone to authorize this access because it's quite important. So uh, let's use GitHub Mobile. And now I'm gonna get on the GitHub Mobile app on my phone. You know, you could maybe get an OTP or something, um, depending on how they manage that. It's 57, ah, sadly not 67. Perfect. And now we authorize this with the GitHub Mobile app. So. Now, as you can see, this account is added. Let's go and continue. Perfect. Now I will go on this account that I just added and I'm going to connect. Um, and now it will say confirm transfer to set up two way sync. So now Lovable will not manage your project versioning anymore. It will be managed by GitHub, which ultimately is what you want when you're scaling your application. So should something go wrong with Lovable, you own your code, you manage that. And you also get better hosting because you can then plug in with other hosting providers such as Netlify or Vercel. So let's transfer anyway. And now we're going to transfer the project to GitHub. This can take a little bit and now it's, got, it's done here. So there you go. Uh, we can always disconnect it, but there you go. Now we're linked with GitHub. So now every time you make a publish in Lovable, and I'm going to go on continue here, you'll be able to then also update it on GitHub. Now it's just generating an, you know, an empty ID and deploying my project on Lovable. And now we have this integration nicely set up. So now, as you can see, I have my GitHub integration set up here and, you know, now I got my entire application deployed to GitHub. How cool is that? So now when we go into the GitHub integration here, we can edit this in VS Code. If you want to do that through GitHub, they do have a VS Code editor. You can continue with this on cursor and then it syncs back to Lovable. It's a two-way sync. So that's pretty cool. As you can see here, it's loading the files in the online version of VS Code. Or you can go in here and then just, you know, explore it here and, you know, configure some settings and also clone this project if you want. So now that we have our application set up here, we eventually want to self-host. So how do we set that up? The best way to host your application will always be Netlify. I really like them. So when you go into Netlify and create a new account, you can import from Git. So let's click on this blue button here, import from Git, and we're going to select GitHub. Now we're going to connect this with the GitHub account that we connected our Lovable project with. Let's authorize Netlify. And now we're authorized, as you can see. So let's continue. And let's install the Netlify app into GitHub. And now we have added our GitHub account. And now we can look for our application. So what's our application called here? Uh, I'm on the wrong GitHub actually, but what's it called here on GitHub? It's Calorie Buddy. So we're going to look for Calorie Buddy. It's this one here. Let's select this project name. 
calorie buddy. Calorie buddy. There you go. And uh, we're going to select main branch. There you go. Let's deploy calorie buddy. Okay. And now it's building calorie buddy and it will deploy it. And then we can add a custom domain through Netlify because Netlify will be the one serving our hosted application. So we won't be hosting with Lovable because you get second tier hosting with them because they just run, you know, Cloudflare on your behalf, you get less settings and, you know, you're always at the mercy of Lovable for everything to work correctly, meaning if some of their systems are done or down, you may have some problem accessing or changing some of your hosting settings, where with Netlify, that is what you would normally usually do to host your application and you get more settings, more control, and just overall, I would say a better build experience. Now, as you can see, our application was deployed to a free Netlify domain. And as you can see, our application is fully hosted. So let's see if it works. Let's sign up here. Hello at despia.com. Let's go in here. Hello, one, two, three, at, at, at. Let's sign up. And as you can see, it's even connecting with our backend and all the stuff, even though uh, we are using Lovable Cloud, it all works perfectly. Let's do ice cream, 150 calories, let's add food. And as you can see, it was added, our application perfectly works. Uh, we can log out, all that kind of stuff. And now it's hosted with Netlify. We can then just go to domain management, add a custom domain to Netlify. They allow us also to buy domains in there or bring our own domains. It's very simple and now you have power hosting capabilities on your application. They have a very generous free tier. So if you're really, really serious about your application, host them with Netlify. That's the best way to host your application. You get great things. You get web security settings that you can look into here, right? You have rate limiting. You can get advanced metrics. You know, you can enable analytics for this example. You get advanced metrics for your applications. You know, you can enable real user metrics. So you can look into that. You can look into the function metrics. That's also a setting that you can configure. Uh, you can ask the AI to help you with deployment tasks or even add new pages and tweak stuff. You can use Cloud Agent, Codex, Gemini. So it's pretty cool. You got preview servers. You can look at your deployments. You can roll back between different deployments. Um, and it's really, really cool. You can always trigger a new deployment. Right. So now when you make a change, let's say make it all pink, right? So I'm just going to tell this to Lovable. I can make those changes now from Lovable directly to GitHub. So let's let's have Lovable make it all pink. And you'll see that you still have the convenience of using Lovable, but now you have your own hosting system. You own your hosting. It's with a company that does this for a living and not as a side hustle, which is always a better way to, you know, it's always better to have your axe in multiple baskets than having it all in one, right? So you have a little bit more diversification. And again, you can now go into Cursor, import your project from Cursor and set it all up. But now it's editing the application, as you can see. And this will also allow you then to move to different tools or move other things into Lovable. We can then publish our application here. Let's update it. And then this should update our sources on GitHub as well. And we will see that then this color build, this color change build will be deployed to Netlify. So now as we can see, if I just open this on GitHub, we should see that now the source file folder was changed now. So it was changed. So now if I reload in Netlify, you will see that there is another build happening in, Net in Netlify. You see, there is a build starting up here and it's now deploying the change. So as you can see, Netlify's robots are busy building and deploying your project to our CDN, to their content delivery network. So now this change is directly sent to Netlify. It's building your application. It can take one to two minutes um, for it to be properly deployed. You're using their resources for it. And you know, you have great, you know, settings. You can always upgrade to their high performance enterprise plans. And now as you can see, the change was published. So if I open my application in Netlify, you will see that all the changes were made. So it's super simple. Self-hosting doesn't have to be a hassle. It's very simple, but now you get a great experience. You 
own your project. So should something go sideways with Lovable, you own the code, you deploy it yourself. If there are servers in down, you're unaffected by it. Very important. Um, and then, you know, this gives you also the opportunity to say, hey, let's deploy this to Netlify. Let's deploy this to Vercel and to Cloudflare. So if Cloudflare is down, we can then quickly switch things over to Vercel. And if Vercel is down, we can switch things quickly over to Netlify. And should Netlify be down, you know, you get the whole idea. Giving you, you know, a very nice way of managing this. You can always just move it. It's always good to have a couple of copies of your application, especially if you have a big live application, a couple of hundreds of thousands of users, you're making money from it, and uptime is very critical, and certain settings are important to you. So this is how you can sell those. You can also install the Lighthouse plugin to get great metrics and all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool what you can do. You can now see the performance of this application. You can enable some other integrations here. It's very nice what you can do with Netlif Netlify. They offer a great hosting experience. And yeah, that's how simple it is to self-host your application. And now you can just take this Netlify URL or link it with your own custom URL and set that up in Despia. And then you can also self-host your Despia application, giving you even better rates than if you would be hosting with you know, other providers such as Lovable and all that kind of stuff. Ultimately, you probably want to use Superbase instead of Lovable Cloud. So you can also self-host your backend and you're not too bound to Lovable Cloud and to their abstraction and them running things for you. So you own the entirety of your project, but that'll be a separate video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.